All right, so this is going to be comparison problems. So quantity A, we've got M plus 25 within the absolute value sign. And then B, we've got 25 minus M. Okay. So it probably looks pretty obvious to many of you, but to some of you that want to solve it algebraically and make for darn sure, let's check it out. When I've got the absolute value, I put a parenthesis around them and put a plus and then a minus. So here, because it's the GRE and the clock is ticking, etc., you want to do some of this mental math without writing this stuff down. So normally in class, you want to write this stuff down, you know, to show your work and show your teacher that you're thorough and comprehensive and, you know, so you can get full points, etc. But on this exam, obviously, you don't want to do that. So as opposed to putting plus and then a minus, let's distribute the minus. So this is going to be minus m, right, minus 25. So two separate equations on the left-hand side. So now there's a little box here. Now we've got 25 minus m. Well, these cancel out, right, Tw plus 25 and plus 25. So you have m something negative n, negative m, right? Well, if m is negative, you know, so that's definitely a question mark. Now let's do the next one. 25 minus m. And now you've got minus m cancels out. And all you have left is negative 25 is less than 25. Well, we don't know what m is, though. And it doesn't, let's say the question just states this, you know, these two quantities. We don't know if m is negative or positive or zero. Um, you know, so it would it would stand to reason that with all of that, the answer is going to be not A, which is A, quantity A is greater than B, not B, which is B is quantity uh, a quantity that's greater than A, or C, which is A and B are equal, but it's rather D. Not enough information given to solve this problem. If you want more of these, please post in the comments and please subscribe if you like this material. Thank you very much.